Welcome to the show this morning, you guys. Enter the stars. And here's some updated news before we get into the rest of the, sh of the show today. Well, just like we said, they're now talking about only giving checks out to those people who take the VC. And surprise, surprise, it's coming from the right. Now, I suspect that what is behind this is money and that some secret deal was cut between the pharma companies and the right. There's no way they would have given all this money to the pharma companies to make these VCs and not make us take it. So here we go. A lot of people will sell out and they'll, they'll take the VC just to get the check. First, they started out by giving us 600 plus 600 plus 600 dollars 666 and that was to whet our appetite and now they're doing the takeaway close now this makes no difference to me a person like me who doesn't live and die by any kind of handouts that I can get from the government but I knew that there would be strings attached to these Indian givers this is what they do they can keep their check as far as I'm concerned. But here's the problem. The reason why a lot of people do need this check is because the government has mandated them into lost jobs, reduced wages. A lot of people are on furlough. I know my sister who works for the state of California is on furlough. She has a 10% pay cut. You got closed businesses that are being forced to close. So a lot of people need this check. And remember I told you guys that at a certain point that we were going to have to choose. That right now it's kind of easy because it feels like things are free, but they're really not. And at a certain point, we're going to have to choose. And now here we are. You have to choose. Now, let me make sure we're connected and we'll get into the next part of the show. Now, I've already... Pin. At a certain point, whoops, let me close this. Here. We were going to have to choose. Oh, that's me. Let's close this up. I don't need that. So I've already pinned the uh, the comment here. Oh, actually, let's finish this comment. All right, let's pin this up here. These are all of the, uh, the, uh, the links and everything to the show. So you guys will have that. Close that. All right. Now, let's get into the next part of this show, because this was something that one of you guys sent me. This is an amazing revelation, and I love how we all work together because it's a lot of fun. But basically, there's more to this ball and needle than meets the eye. There's some symbolism attached to this ball and needle matrix, I call it. Now, it took me some time to get to the bottom of it, by, but in the next five or ten minutes, you're going to understand what this is all about. Let's make sure we're connected first. All right. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, it looks like it. Okay. Now, let's get into this. This is crazy. Now, these are going to be groundbreaking revelations. No one's ever put this together like this. But this is from The Ball and Needle from the film Tomorrowland. And this is the World's Fair. And so in the film Tomorrowland with George Clooney, there is a World's Fair. And there is a 1964 World's Fair, which ended in 1966, by the way. And then we had The Dawn recreate the globe that was pictured in that fair in Flushing Meadows. It was called the Unisphere. He recreated that in front of his own Trump International Hotel. So there was something weird going on. And then remember, he built the 66th floor Apollo penthouse. So there's something weird about the year 1966. Now this goes deeper. Because we've seen this symbol before. We've seen this ball and needle. We just didn't realize it yet. And one of you was the one that helped me put the puzzle pieces together. Because this is where we've seen it. This is the ball and needle of the Vatican. And we saw it here. With the ball and needle 
of the Washington Monument and Capitol. Now, what makes this strange is that both of these are aligned to 88 degrees. Time and space. Time travel. Now, here's where things go off the rails. Because Apollo's name is also a Baileon with a ball in it. So, Apollo has a ball and he has a needle, right? His arrow is the needle. Now, Apollo Abalon means ever shooting, ever injecting. Now, if this isn't sinking in yet, think about the globe lie as it pertains to the Apollo space missions. Isn't it all about the globe and needle? The rockets are the needles and the globe is the earth lie, right? So I think we solved the whole ball and needle matrix. What it's about, now listen very closely. It's about passing the needle through the firmament to escape the prison. That's what they're really doing. That's what NASA's really doing. You know how in the Bible says the camel going through the needle? Well, they've got it in reverse. Instead of the camel going through the eye of the needle to get to heaven, the needle goes through the hump of the camel. You get it? Unreal. Now, Abalon sounds like Abaddon, does it not? Or Apollyon. The words are very similar in their, in their semantic and their spelling. Abalon, Apollyon, Abaddon. So what have we just gone through for the last four years? We had a bad dawn, didn't we? A Abaddon. And now who do we have? We have a Biden. Abaddon, again. Now, when these kinds of things get dropped in my lap like this, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. But God dropped something else into my head last night, about two in the morning. It's kind of difficult to get back to sleep after he did this one. Now, what I like to do is wake up in the middle of the night and try to write things down or type it into my phone. But then I end up just staying up because this is just how it works. It's the still small voice. He told me, now I'm going to do some drawing here because I want to do this justice. He told me to type out Tesla's name. So we're going to do that now. With a different color. Let's go with black. So all we're doing here is we're going to type out Tesla's name. Okay. Then he told me to scramble the letters. Hmm. That looks a lot like Atlas, which means a globe, does it not? Then, remember, what was Tesla's goal? To harness, he thought it, the Earth was a globe. To harness the ground energy from the ground and harness it into free energy, did he not? Look very closely at his writings. This is exactly what he wanted to do. A lot of people mistake this and think that he was pulling energy out of the air but really he was talking about pulling it from opposite ends of the globe when i was a a boy i would dig in the dirt and fantasize that i could dig all the way to china i thought man i wonder if anyone's tried to do that yet i wonder if they, they've tried to drill to the other side of the earth but of course that was the globe lie right but Fascinating nonetheless, but here we are with, with Tesla, and his name spells Atlas, which is like a globe. Almost Atlas, it's not exact. In some languages, it's spelled that way. But look at this. Here's something else that God hit me with last night. He said, look at the first three letters in Tesla's name. 
and that spells Tesseract. Those are the first three letters in his name. And I thought, I wonder if there's a connection. And absolutely there is. Because the Tesseract is eight points within eight points. It is a cube inside of another cube. Here's some images of the Tesseract right here. And this is exactly what it is. Eight points within eight points. Now, what does this all mean? Well, 88. And remember how we began this discussion? The alignment of the ball and needle? The 88 time and space. Now, there was a book that came out in 1888 called A Wrinkle in Time. And this was the very first time that the word Tesseract was coined. Unreal. Now let's get into the rest of today's show. I want an open show with those revelations. I like to try to stay up to date. Try not to sit on information. But uh, this one blew me away. Now, we did this trailer uh, where did it go? Here it is. We did this trailer. And it was called The New Dawn. And it was weird because during the Eggnog the Nation. When we're going to decode this trailer today. There was a particular girl that came out. And started talking about. Where'd she go? Here she is. The New Dawn. Now, our video uploaded hours before this happened in real life. So something is happening here. Why, how is it that we're talking about the New Dawn? And all of a sudden, this is in the speech. This is Amanda Gorman. There she was at the Eggnog the Nation. The New Dawn blooms as we free it, for there is always light. If only we're brave enough to see it. If only we're brave enough to be it. Now, this isn't the only time she mentioned the Dawn. But this is the only time she mentioned the new dawn. This links directly into Apollo worship. The new dawn. The dawning of a new era. In fact, Apollo rolls hand in hand with Aurora on almost every single painting that he's pictured in. So what does this mean? Well, we're going to break it down even further. Because in addition to this poem, this New Dawn poem, Bon Jovi, who's 58 years old, where'd he go? Here he is. As the New Dawn was coming up, he sang, Here Comes the Sun, for the Eggnog the Nation. 58 years old. The flea is 58 too, by the way. He played Mr. Needles in Back to the Future 2. Let me play a little short clip. Right. So there he is, and it starts out in the dark. Very intentional uh, imagery here. They, they start out in the dark, and then the sun comes up by the end of it. See that? Very intentional. We are in a new dawn. Abai dawn. Now, what's the problem with this? Well, there's one problem with this. Is that Bon Jovi's mic was not even plugged in. Here's the end of the mic cord there. And they didn't even bother to plug the mic in. He was completely lip syncing. He had no audience out there all by himself on a pier. And he didn't bother to plug the mic in. Now, he got made fun of for this. He got roasted. For his performance. Man that guy didn't age well did he? And. It says here that they. He lip synced the whole thing. They must have pre-recorded this. And they said that. Even though they lip synced it. His, it didn't help his voice much. Even though it was pre-recorded. And that he didn't even bother to plug the mic in. And everybody saw it. So. 
Are you starting to understand what the signal is? It's pre-packaged, pre-recorded, fake, fake, fake. Everything's fake. It's all theater. Both sides are theater. Republicans and Democrats are theater. It's not even real. They're pretending to hate each other to keep you and I all under control. Let me check in with you guys and then we'll get into this very prophetic trailer that we did before it even happened. Thanks everybody for showing up. And I'll be in the chat in a bit. So this is it. And as you're going to see, this is all about the new dawn. Let's make this bigger. Listen very carefully. New dawn. No. Never heard of them. We're investigating the murder of Nathaniel Bain. And we came across that name, New Dawn. Now, the episode opens with the murder of a Don Trumpet-like character. And his name is Nathaniel Bain. And we're going to call them the FBI instead of what they're really called. They suspect that there is a shadow group called the New Dawn that's responsible for his murder. Now, the guy goes up in flames, almost like the devil. Like, they basically throw flames on him, like a Molotov cocktail, and he burns alive, right? And this New Dawn group is a lot like the B to the L to the M. And this is exactly everything we've been going through for the last year, except this episode came out before it all happened. Now, of course, Bane has a mask. He wears a mask. This is Bane from Batman. So we have Bane from the FBI, who is like a Trump-like character. And then we have Bane from Batman, both wearing masks. And, of course, the Don has quoted Bane's words many times. When he, in his, in his um, campaign, talked about, for the people. And that's exactly what Bane said. We did a whole decode on, on the Don being like Batman and Robinetti, which is Bitten, being like Robin. So they're just two sides of the same coin. The Macho Man and the Effeminate. So let's keep going with this. Trailer here. Now, what you're looking at here is an Aurora. This painting is called The Aurora by Guido Reni. It's a very famous painting. It's been duplicated many, many times, and it features Apollo, Phosphorus, and Aurora all in a painting. The very same painting that's in the 66th floor penthouse of the Don in T Tower. And this is all about bringing forth a new day. That's what Aurora means. Now, look at this. This is the episode description of the FBI series, TV series. This came out January 22nd, 2019. Uh, you guys, this was two years ago. This is before all of the burnings. Before everything, I mean, the only thing that had already happened is Mr. T was running his mouth. But here we are in 2021, two years ago, to the day. We're actually on the anniversary of this episode right now. Today. It's the 22nd of January. And look at this. A new dawn. And then the girl sing, starts talking about the poem, A New Dawn. Let's keep watching.
We know he was banned from several local radio stations and every tri-state campus, except for Paul Revere U. I know he was a So, this is all about the censorship. And this is why Mr. T came. This is why the Don came. He came to polarize the nation to the point to where they can implement widespread censorship. This is what his purpose was. Now, in hindsight, we can see it very clearly because it's exactly what happened. And so here they're talking about, you know, censoring him. Look, listen to this. Except for Paul Revere, you local. We know he was banned from several local radio stations and every tri state campus, except for Paul Revere, you. I know he was a lightning rod. But that's why it was so interesting. I was trying to make a point. I was trying to stand up for the most liberal cause of all, freedom of speech. Because he's a hateful, narrow-minded, sexist, racist. Focus on the evidence, not on the politics. I loathed what came out of Nathaniel Bain's mouth, but I respected his right to say it. Our job is to protect free speech, not to police it. And right now, that's all that matters. There were threats against Bain in advance of his speech? Yes, 33 death threats. Everyone's so riled up about everything. Everybody's so riled up about everything. Every word, every opinion, every label. Word, every opinion, every label. Oh, it seems to be getting worse, too. Bain's disgusting. I hate his politics, but I didn't kill the guy. No way. Truth is, clowns like Bain drive up donations. So... There you saw the B to the L to the M type. You see how this is all cast type like this or typecast. Uh, and so he's there's a fist behind him, but he says, we're just college students. We, you know, so they're trying to minimize their role, even though we knew exactly what happened. It went unchecked. The buildings were burning. Told the guy, no way. Truth is. And he says they drive up donations. So this is the whole purpose of it. Look at how many donations came in to the T campaign and presidency all the way through the presidency clowns like Bain drive up donations feels like it's tipping point well, man was just assassinated so I'd say we tipping point we've already been tipped we've already tipped sure everybody needs an enemy to rally against I don't like the SDSU why's that because they're elitist punks so, so basically, it becomes a battle between the white and the blacks, and they, they talk about needing, everybody needs someone to rally behind. That's exactly what we just went through. The whole thing was orchestrated to for a power grab. You do a drive-by? We're just trying to scare him. Why? Plate reader just got a hit on the Queensboro Bridge, eastbound 10 minutes ago. He's heading into Queens. So, of course, they got to put the queen aspect to this. We did, we basically totally exposed the whole queen, the queen's aspect to all this. Because of what they did to Nathaniel Bain. What, you think SDSU had something to do with the murder? Don't know for sure. But they torched our clubhouse last week. Truth is, clowns like Bain drive up donations. So they might have torched Bain too. I'm sorry, what? Someone torched your clubhouse? Yeah. Do you really believe all that hate you preach? Or you just love making people crazy? Both. So, he loves making people crazy. That's the order out of chaos. The more you can divide, the more you can grab power. Because, listen, <laughs> I appreciate the fact that there are brave people in this country that talk real big about what they're going to do if this happens or that happens. But at the end of the day, the technology has gotten to a point where as soon as you pop your head up, it's going to be like a Chuck E. Cheese where you bang the head down on the things that pop up. There's no chance. There's no, And they've been practicing in the Mideast for decades. There is just no way. I don't care how many GUNs we have. It doesn't matter. If it gets too difficult, they'll just nuke, drop a nuke. So the whole plan was to draw out the people, draw out the ones who are willing to stand up. 
This is exactly what they did. It's a, almost like a test. Okay, we're ready. We've got the net in place. We've got our drones. We've got everything we need. Let's let's stoke the fire and see what runs out. You know, long time ago, they used to start fires to run animals out in hunting. It's smoke. It's called smoke them out. And this is exactly what they're doing right now. And if you're falling for it, if you fell for it, and you found yourself in some kind of dragnet, maybe you'll start to wake up to this and understand what's really happening. It's called a honey trap. B.I., put your hands up, get against the wall, now. Now they finally catch up with the leader of the New Dawn. And they arrest him underneath the copper building. Now we had just covered this building, did we not? Now here's what's interesting about this copper building. Let's keep playing this here. You're under arrest what? for domestic terrorism, murder, conspiracy to commit murder. Now, I want you to take a close look at this copper building. Because what this is, is the alchemical symbol for copper. There it is right there. See the similarities? And this looks like a, a lot like the 33rd floor of the very building, the Wyndham, New Yorker, where Tesla took his last breath. The Wyndham, New Yorker was a power plant and it had generators in the basement and was self-sufficient. It was a wonder of the world. Generators and that technology of the 1930s used almost exclusively copper to generate electricity. 33rd floor, alchemical copper symbol, American copper buildings. These young men and women idolize me. No, you know what? They, uh, they revere me. They revere me. Hmm. Paul Revere, copper industry. Pioneer. Now we broke down what Revere means. Reeve, Kyle Reese, Paul Revere. This is all about time travel. Portals. My follower did Connor Whitman. His actions have nothing to do with me. Sure they do. It's called conspiracy. Are you starting to get the feeling that there's a lot more to our history than we've been told? I am. These young men and women idolize me. No, you know what? They, uh, they revere me. They revere me. They revere me. These people aren't innocent. They preach hate and venom. That's their right. Just like it's yours to speak against it. It's us or them. No, you're wrong. It's us and them. That's what this country is all about. Being able to be different. Being able to disagree. So, obviously that all played out. And here we are now. And there was no consensus. They simply erased the right. They're now coming after the right. Just as I said, there's been new headlines. If you haven't seen it, of what they're doing to people who believed in this man. It was a setup from the beginning. We tried to warn you guys. Because there was a lot of this going on. In a lot of these old pictures. Very inappropriate and disgusting stuff. That for some reason. They were able to wipe out of people's minds. 
and they turned this man who hung out with Eggstein, was friends with Giswell, they turned him from this into this with the media or whatever, Q, whatever you want to call it. However, we got brainwashed into believing that there was a change when we're told that no repentance was needed. So let's extrapolate this out a bit because what exactly is the new dawn? Let's think about this for a second. I believe it's the new Apollo administration. What do you mean, Casey? Well, we said bye to the old dawn, bye dawn, and we said hello to the new dawn. Abby Don. And so when it all shakes out, the black and the white, the left and the right, they did their part. We went from Obama to Trump, which deepened the divide, causing this the planned event that would be the final nail in the heart of America. To bring about complete silencing of dissenting voices. And here we stand, muzzled under our masks. Them dangling the carrots of money for you to take the jab. And this is where we're at. Thanks to the new channel members. Thanks Joanne, Mike, and, and uh, Stephen. Appreciate that. Let's go into the chat here. Let's let this catch up. Okay. Corporate puppets. 100% true. Look, if you took the money, uh, it is what it is. This whole th this whole thing is going to go down anyway. You by you not taking the check, it's I don't think it really makes a big difference because here's what happens: they're going to crash it anyway. It's all going to get crashed, all right. And there's not enough of us not to take it. You might as well use that and create real goods with it, real something that can't be taken away in the future. That's why I've been talking to people about land. Someone had asked me about you know if I'm on Social Security, can I? Can I still buy land? Yes, you can, but you have to live in it. If you're living on it, then it won't affect your Social Security disability. Okay, I just looked it up. So if that's something you're thinking about doing, that's what's going on. Now, it's crazy because if you get benefits and you're not living, you're only allowed up to $2,000 in assets before they mess with your benefit. And that, the same is true for like getting uh, EBT, you know, food stamps and all that stuff or any kind of... Uh, financial assistance, any kind of benefit. They don't let you have assets outside of your, your vehicle unless it's less than $2,000. So that's the rule. If you live on the property, then they, they can't mess with you. You can, you can have that asset and still get your Social Security disability. So I know a lot of you depend on that, but eventually this is going to be used to try to manipulate you so the best thing to do is turn any money you get into something real. Some, a very low cost property with very low tax base that you can never be evicted from. Right? Because who wants to go hunting around for apartments and stuff in this kind of environment? Okay, back in the chat. Yes, Dr. Savage, you got to use reverse psychology on these people. Can't keep falling into their traps. Look, people keep saying, oh yeah, buy land and then pay your government. Um, okay, I'm going to try to be nice. But this is a, has been a bit irritating to me because it almost sounds like people that are saying that are bots. Because they're trying to talk people out of it. Why do you think billionaires buy up all the land that they can? Why do you think they're doing that? Because they know something we don't. And, I, and I've said, a couple of you reached out to me 
I helped you um, find something or at least gave you advice on some land. The last person I talked to, and I won't say their name out of privacy, their taxes were $18 a year for an acre of land. So, you know, let's not get caught up in being a naysayer. That's the enemy speaking to you. Okay? That's the enemy speaking to you to talk you out of it so you can remain a slave to a landlord who can raise your rent $200 a month. Or a bank have you stuck in a mortgage for 30 years that you'll never pay off. And the first time you get sick or you lose your job or get a divorce, you lose it anyway. Don't believe the lie. You can have very, very low tax base property a lot of it. Now, this particular person that I helped found land where there was there were no restrictions. You could actually build a tiny house on it without even pulling permits. There was a stream on it. And they were allowed to have... Um, they were allowed not to have to be forced to make a septic system. What do they call that? Co composting. They're allowed to have like a composting toilet for septic. So don't believe the naysayers. Because guess what? When they come rolling through the streets in tanks and they start forcing the VCs on you or your landlord raises your rent or you get kicked out of your place and you go to find rent another place and you find that rents have doubled, you'll be going, man, I should have listened to Casey. At least I have something. Uh, yeah, I'm paying $18 a year and I might be there, not be there yet, but I'll have a place to go. If I had to buy a $4,000 travel trailer and hook it on the back of my truck and drive out to my property, I could survive without being at the mercy of the beast. So don't listen to the naysayers. All right. All right, let's go back in here. And I'm sorry if I'm forceful about this, but this is very, very important. As we go into the last days, you don't want to be cornered. Trust me. This isn't a fear thing. You'll be glad you did it. Trust me. Well, trust no man. Pray about it. And ask God for guidance. And ask him if this is something that you should be doing. Okay? Don't trust me. I'm just a guy trying to deliver a message. All right. Yep. Okay, I'm back in the chat. Now... Uh, again, still small voice popped into my head. God whispered in my ear and told me, Casey, you need to look back at the ancestry of Bitten and Drump. And so I did. And I found a connection between the two. So Bitten's ancestor was Chancellor. To the king of Scotland. And Drump's ancestor. Was imprisoned. By the king of Scotland. Bizarre. So we're going to. That'll be our show. I think tomorrow. I've got all the proof. To show you guys. You can see it actually in the thumbnail. Of the video for tomorrow. So we'll get into that. All right. Now, uh, you know, for those of you that are looking into land, look, there's a couple suggestions. Absolutely make sure that it's uh, restriction free. The most important thing I think I can think of right now off the top of my head is how much does it rain there? You want a place where it rains so you can collect rainwater if you had to, preferably a water source or a creek. You also want to make sure there are no septic regulations because septic systems are expensive. They cost about seven grand to put in a septic system. And so that can become unaffordable for a lot of people. Okay. But there are a lot of places that don't require that. You can just compost your waste. All right. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's what they did in the, in the times of Jesus. Okay. They didn't have like elaborate septic systems. And open sewage doesn't do the trick. This is why you have to spread out. God said, fill the earth so that you can go near a tree and dig a hole and go to the bathroom in it. Put some lime in it and cover it back up. 
there's that option. Uh, they also have, you know, if you have quite a bit of land, you can rent those porta potties, put that on there, and then have them come clean it out once every six months. There's all kinds of options, okay? You don't have to have a septic system. So, those are just some suggestions. You definitely don't want to spend tens and tens of thousands of dollars on a property because guess what? Your tax base goes up and then you are paying $700 a year in taxes. You don't have to, you don't have to buy that much land. Five or six acres is plenty of land, plenty of timber, trees everywhere, fallen trees you could use for firewood, plenty of space around you. Okay, so those are just some suggestions. All right, we're going to go ahead and end the show here. I love all of you. Be saved if you haven't already. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Be safe.